When Prophet said, Ana Ahmad, Ana Muhammad, La Nabiya Ba'adi died, no Prophet was coming after me. Then how dare anyone can say that I'm Prophet when he said, Umar, if there was a slight chance of a Prophethood to be continuing, it would be you, Umar. But I am Khatam al Nabiyin, I am the seal of the Prophets. When the seal is given on a document, it means the document is closed. You see, we live, I live in Arab countries and I, I can speak any Arabic person. I ask him, what is the meaning of Khatam? You know what they say? Seal. And Mirza Ghulam Ahmed, jahil of the jahil, ignorant, he said that now the Prophet will come from the stamp of Muhammad Arabi Sallallahu How a liar, how the... You see this, I told you. He's the biggest mesmerizer and tantalizer of this century, the past century, I'm telling you. The way he fooled the people, I think so there's no other <laughs> better, you know, the jal or trickster born than Mirza Ghulam Ahmad. You see what's the meaning of Khatam? It's a seal. And Allah used, why Allah used this word? Because to show you and us, when the document is sealed, and it means it is final, complete, and close. But what happens if you remove the seal? The document is no more authentic. This is what Allah says. If you try to break the seal, it means you are breaking the concept of Islam. Khatam is a seal. Any documents in the past, when there was no seal, this is not authentic, authentic document. Today, we do not use seals anymore. We use signature. Same thing. But those days seal. If the document is sealed, it's finished. The Prophet is the seal of the Prophets. All the Prophets came before him. And from him, the document is closed and sealed. Once it is sealed, there's no other chance of coming any Prophet. This is what it means. You rascal. The way you said that against our Nabi. And the once the document is sealed, it is sealed. This is what this ayah meant. But deliberately, the way you deceived people, lana on you, woe to you, Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, woe to you. So, the discussion of Khatma Nabuwat, inshallah, will not be needed when we have our system of Islam. These people will go in a hole like a burrows. You know burrows like a rabbit goes inside. They will stay there and die. This is all the privileges of the West. Privileges of those kuffar who are nurturing them, cultivating them and let them produce those children. This, this is all because of those privileges. Otherwise they know that. And what power they have? Nothing. That guy, that cockroach, is the puppet of the West. He's the slave of the West. And this is not the job of Isa ibn Maryam. I'm going to end this now. Mirza Ghulam Ahmad was the host of cognitive dissonance. He made the statement, he take his people and then he reach them and throw them into the crossroads. And after crossroad, he said, okay, start doing oscillation, going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So their circle back and forth now converted into their pocketbook and from po pocketbook that's all they know nothing else nothing more and this is all the, but they are postulating theory after theory after theory they will never speak on the character of mirza ghulam ahmed yes they will speak on the perception of ghulam ahmed or thinking of ghulam ahmed will never speak on because they know once you open the pandora box of mirza ghulam ahmed the game is up وآخر الدعوان أن الحمد لله رب العالمين